Okay, that's the final stage, batch two of uh, 2013. Uh, I don't know if you can see the evaporator over there. I put some water in it and boiled it just to clean out the pans. Had to get ready for the next batch. That'll be uh, next batch. I'll probably start tomorrow. I got uh, 17 water bottles to boil off, so probably the last batch of 2013. But this is the second batch here. It's about uh, oh, I don't know, 11 liters, two gallons of uh, maple syrup here. So I got this digital thermometer. It's getting close now. Uh, we're pretty close to the ocean, so boiling water. Uh, boil, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius here, so uh, it's going to be maple syrup when it's 104 degrees. So I just uh, stick it in, um, just watch the temperature go up. It goes up after it gets over 100 degrees. It uh, it only goes every 0.5, so 101, 102, 102.5, 103. Hundred and three point five, hundred and three point five still. Getting pretty close though. It's getting pretty close. And you start to see those real, real fine bubbles. Um, getting really close to being maple syrup. Candy basically. Three point five still. At this point, you can add a little a drop of uh, uh, cooking oil in it. It will you know, cause the defoam to go down, but there are some uh, products like powder you can get to, as well. Still 103.5. 103.5, so. Oven mitts are important at this stage. Obviously, I already burn it myself. It's a little propane burner we have for cooking lobster. It's perfect for this. Once you get it to, once you get it close to being maple syrup, you can control the the fire a bit better over propane. So I don't use very much. It's only a couple minutes at this stage, and uh, that's it. So. Uh, I'm just going to pull the thermometer out and let it boil for a little while longer. Just keep an eye on it. And, uh, yeah, the thermometer works real easy. You just turn it off. It's very, very accurate. I had a candy thermometer, but it didn't seem to be as accurate. So, just going to keep an eye on this boil. Make sure it doesn't boil over. Because, uh, any minute, if I turn this up really fast, you'll see. Rapid boil. Very rapid boil. It could boil over very quickly. I'm not standing here watching it, so I'm just going to turn it down just a tiny little bit, just so it doesn't boil over on me. But keep it rocking so uh, I can get it to 104 degrees. It's supposed to be 104.1, but like I said, my thermometer only graduated every 0.5 once it gets over 100. So 104 degrees is close enough for me. 0.1 of a degree is not going to make or break the, the quality of the syrup. So, Just showing you the proximity of the, uh, the pot to my basement door. It is pretty cold out right now. It's probably minus 3. So I can pretty much watch it in here and uh, gauge at what temperature it might be. Okay, back out uh, a couple minutes later. I'm just going to double check this temperature here. One hundred two point five, one hundred three, one 
103.5. I turned it up just a touch while I'm here. Just to might get that little extra temperature to get it up to 104 degrees. But I mean it could be 103.6 or 0.7 said this only graduated in 0.5 after 100 so no, still not ready yet 103.5 or between 103.5 and 104 so one oh four one oh four right there look at that see the rapid boil that's maple syrup there we go, 104 degrees. See how rapid it's boiling? 104 degrees, there we go, we got table syrup. So what I'll do is I'll just turn this down now and go in and get my filter system. I'll turn it down, not off, but just turn it down. It won't hurt it to, if it goes a little bit more at 104.1 because that's where it's supposed to be. So I'll go in and get uh, my filter system set up. Okay, I'm going to set up my uh, the filtering system I have here. I've got 12 pre-filters, so I've got six, six pre-filters inside one another here. You can just reuse these after you use them. You just rinse them in hot water, rinse them in hot water, hang them on the clothesline, you whip some clothes. And so I take the six pre-filters, shove them in the, the Gorlon, or the fabric filter, and I built this little this little rig here and then uh, take a couple of uh, clothes pins here and uh, basically pin these back. Uh, I saw somebody on YouTube doing it this way so I adopted pretty much the same same style. Once you start pouring the sap or the syrup in this get sticky and things uh, tend to separate so got basically a nice clean pot uh, everything's all set to go here I'm just gonna I'm gonna pour the sap into there and right down in the middle of that and uh, it'll filter itself out through I'm gonna do this outside I'm gonna pour a little bit in at a time and I got two setups here I might have to switch halfway through to the to the second uh, bag and, and pre filters but we'll see how the first part goes